obviously this last year has been really wild. The year and a half has been wild kind of for everybody, but especially for your family. Um, can you just kind of tell me how you have kept your household super grounded when it comes to the stardom that you guys have experienced? I think just because of COVID, just all of us being home so much, it wasn't as hard as it could have been probably mm -hmm. if we were all traveling and going to different places. So it was a lot easier. We're all physically in one place and that felt comfortable and normal and so i think just because of that it was it was easier do you feel like with things opening up again like they might start to get like a little bit more someone's on the east coast someone's on the west coast type thing or you know are you just gonna try to keep like the quarantine vibes a little bit i i feel it coming that we're all yeah. gonna be in a little bit of different places but just growing up the girls were in different things dixie was a bmx right. racer and charlie was a dancer and both cool. took up a lot of our time as families because as parents we want to be at both all the time right. so um i mean we were in for charlie we were traveling the northeast and for dixie we we're traveling the country just the, the the way that bmx works so we've had to divide and conquer it's not our favorite thing to do mm -hmm. but we do it and um you know a lot of facetimes and all that so that's if i i haven't even really wanted to think about it yet because right it's so exciting but at the same time it's like oh yeah that's so cool about dixie's D bmx i had no idea <laughs> about that that's like yeah, a really she, cool thing to do she started when she was five and she ended up being fifth in the nation she raced for like five or six years now how has your family's you know this this stardom in the last year and a half kind of brought you all closer would you say relationships either get stronger or they get weaker in those moments and the circle there were people that they had a harder time dealing with what was going on and almost didn't know, do I, am I, are we still friends or, and that's with the girls with Mark and I or whatever, how do I fit into this? Are they moving on without me? And, you know, it's a lot because if someone's in a picture with Dixie or Charlie, you know, now everyone's looking at that person and that's right. a lot for people who maybe don't want to be in that position. So our circle got smaller and you could see really who you could trust and we just really lean on each other because there's yeah. nothing that's going there's nothing any one of my family is going to say or do that goes further than me or and, and me to them so to have yeah. that and you know that a hundred percent is that's how you get like really dependent on the, your, your, on your family and, and the people closest to you because you, can, you have that trust. Now you all are also getting a reality TV show on Hulu. Um, what do you hope fans learn about you all and your family that they might not already know? So it's a docu-series. And mm -hmm. so I feel that <clears throat> when they watch it, they'll really feel that it is a, it is just documenting our days. It's not scripted. It's, our real life. I I hope the takeaway is that we aren't much different than any family anywhere. We're parents doing our best to parent teenage girls, which mm -hmm. for any parent, they know how hard that is. Yep. They happen to have millions of eyes on them and on us while we're doing it. So I think I think they'll see we're more like them than different. I think people have a lot of questions. Like, what do they do yeah. all day? Do they make 15 second videos all day? There's a lot more into it. A lot of it is is emotional and we're doing our best to run this business, um, but parenting and family comes first. And some yeah. of the challenges with that. So I think people will like it. I think they're gonna see the ups and downs and uh, of what it's like as parents and as kids, so. I'm mm -hmm. super excited. I'm excited too, just because, I mean, at least my opinion, watching you guys, it just seems like you all have so much fun. Honestly, if you take all of this away, like we would go back to that life in a heartbeat just because it is so fun. Now there's a little more right. stress to it, but for the most part, we, you know, the, the microphones are always on. There's always some performance of some type 
My right. our island in the kitchen is the stage. And it's just that, like just finding fun in everything. And that's been, that's probably our number one goal is to be able to do this and still have fun with it. So when there are moments we aren't having fun, we reevaluate. We're like, all right, mm-hmm. we gotta figure this out. Now you and your husband are really great with communicating with fans. Um, how does that kind of work and, and why is that important to you? We never want them to feel as though they don't matter. They like what the girls are doing and what we're doing as a family. And we appreciate that. And so we want them to know that at all times. And so it's been so hard in quarantine because we're not interacting with them in person. And, mm-hmm. and so we really try to find all the opportunities we can to make them a part of this journey and as much as we can via the, you know, social media and the, and the, and the apps and everything. So it's just like, what, what would we, it was because of them that we're where we are. So right. we always want to make sure that they know how important they are to us. Um, and kind of in the same vein, you know, there's obviously when you and Mark were growing up, many different pressures as a, as a teenager, you know, social media wasn't as prevalent, um, you know, compared to the ones that your daughters are facing with. How have you adapted to social media yourself and also kind of guide your daughters through that when they were almost like the social media professionals first? <laughs> really, Mark used the apps for business and how to help him grow his own businesses being an entrepreneur. And then when I started photography, the same thing. So, mm. you know, we're, we're going back and forth to Louisiana and the girls are missing their cousins who are, right. they have cousins in Connecticut, but they had a lot of cousins in Louisiana. So that was their way, can I get on? And so that was a no brainer to us. And it was kind of their way to stay close to their cousins. And we all kind of grew within it together, but they would definitely teach us. I, you know, I can remember things popping up along the way. I was like, wait, what is that? And more yeah. out of just curiosity and like, all right, I feel like I just got these few apps down. What's this new right. one? There, there was always an open line of communication and um, they always knew we were on and they were, you know, they've said like, you're pretty good at it for parents. You know, most parents are <laughs> like, all right, I'll take that. Do you remember uh, Charlie's first viral video? I, yes. I don't, but yeah. Yes, I do. So uh, it was somewhere in the middle of July, I think. And I was about to, we were about to leave our house to go to a dance intensive. And it was about an hour and a half away. And so right before we left, I don't know, she went in the dining room or whatever and made a TikTok and I'm, you know, making sure we have snacks and water for the ride and she's situated. And then, um, so that was it. Get in the car, we're going. And then she's like, I got 800 likes on this. I was like, what? And then 2,000 and then 10,000. I'm like, what is going on? So it's an hour and a half drive. So we get there and she was like, she just doesn't know what to do. Then she goes into a three hour intensive and can't use her phone. Right. And comes back and she, and so I'm waiting for her when she's done. And she opened her phone and she's just like, and it's in a room for mostly, working dancers, they're all older than she is. And no, but no, most people, nobody was talking about TikTok. So she was right. just like, so we get in the car and she's shaking. What do I do now? She kept saying, what do I do now? What do I do now? Anyway, so it was this video, she was duetted, it was a duet. And it was this woman with joy and she would do kind of break down little steps. And she would, you know, it was this little, I don't know, 16 count maybe at that thing and so she did it and that it was a very interesting one for to go viral to go so that was the one and then everyone after that went crazy well so Dixie also is you know an incredible music creator um has she shared her new music with you and how um is her kind of songwriting and process going yes I've heard a lot of her songs that she has coming and I'm so proud that she's writing now the next couple of things I don't think she wrote but um but she just loved them so much yeah. that she wanted to put them out there after that pretty much she had a hand in writing uh almost everything after that so it's just I knew it would be therapeutic for her and I don't think she wanted to hear that mm-hmm. I think she was a little nervous she's not um 
you know, she's 19. She's getting better at figuring out who she is and just processing this life and comments and all of that. And so a lot of times it's easier for her to just like, I'm going to put all those emotions over there and I don't want to think about it. The writing, it made it come in and she kind of had to process those feelings. So for that, as a mom, like to see your kid kind of really taking in things that are emotional for her and using that, that's a big mom win for me. <laughs> like I yes. never knew it, but it all worked out. You know, that's all I hoped for her and Mark too. Like we just want her, you have to deal with your junk and that yep. is part of it. Well, Heidi, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for answering all of those questions and such a great conversation. Thank you. I appreciate everything. It was so nice to meet you. So good to meet you too. Hopefully we talk again soon. I'd love that. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Bye guys.